Hello everyone. How are you this evening? This is Joanna and as you can see I could not wait. Um, <laughs> I took off the manicure that I had on um, and let it dry because I wanted to demo these plates. So what I did was I picked out 10 of the plates um, out of the group that I have. Um, and if anybody wants to see anything else I will pick another 10. So these are the 10 that I chose. Um, and these demos for these plates are all over YouTube. I just wanted to do a stamping demo on my own because I haven't seen too many people do this on their nails. Um, and that's what I want to try. I did see, um, I think, 10 Little Canvases did something and I'm, I'm starting to really like her videos. Um, but other than that, I haven't seen too many people stamp this on their nails which um, I've seen one tutorial with this plate but most of the stamping demos that I've seen they were stamping other things so this is just my version and a lot of these images are big and these are the ones that I said I needed to practice with um, so those are the 10 that I'm going to use the nail polish that I have on I'll try to go through that really quick I have on the Red Hot Rio one of the OPI colors I'm wondering if this is like a thicker jelly on this finger here, I have on this Sinful Colors White and this um, Pastel Pink Conad Polish where I just try to do a little gradient. Um, and then I have on my Color Club Age of Aquarius here. I didn't get that corner there. And here I have Sky's the Limit by Sally Hansen. This looks blue on here but it's turquoise. It's kind of like the same color as the watercolor shade they make. That's why I didn't get it but I might change my mind. And this is the China Glaze um, Till the Tide Turns. I just wanted to see how these plates stamp over a bumpy surface. And then I have on the thumb here and this finger right here, Essie Black Licorice. And then I have on this thumb, My Vampire's Buff. And then I have this blue, Dark Side of the Blues. I really like this color. So we're going to get started, but I do want to say really quick, I don't know if it was May or March, sometime in the spring I was talking about the Zoya deal that I got where I said I was going to order two of these bottles anyway and they were $25 and then they had that deal about buy four get four free this is still the first bottle so if anyone out there was hesitant about that deal or buying these from the time I recorded that guys and I have used this every day this is the same bottle I've refilled this bottle three times and I'm going to refill it again but this is the first bottle I still have seven more to go and I've even given friends a refill out of this bottle so I don't think that's bad considering whenever I tape that video and this is now February. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with this plate here um, and I'm going to start with this polish right here but I think I need to go and get some of those rounds. That seems to be what I'm missing and another stamper so I will be right back. Okay so two stampers later a pack of cotton rounds and a serving of root beer and we are ready to go. So I'm going to open up my ace tone here and I'm going to go over each one of these plates as we go because I didn't clean them off beforehand and I've said and as a lot of stampers will probably say you just wipe over the plate with your ace tone wipe over the stamper and I'm just going to be stamping randomly um, I picked one plate for each finger so we're going to get started. Now this polish that I have here in my hand is a regular clean color polish and this polish is called Coffee Addict and I like this polish specifically for um, this shade that I'm going to be stamping over the My Vampire's Buff. So we're going to scrape that Pick it up on the stamper and see what we get here. And that flower is as big as my thumb there. 
So again, that was the Coffee Addict over the My Vampires Buff. And that demo was with the Queen 72 plate. The next one that we're going to try is going to be this one right here, and this is Queen 55. And I'm just going to stamp this with the Sinful Colors White. I have never used this as a stamping polish before, but because I hear that you can, I'm just going to go with it because since I'm testing these plates and I have yet to redo my Conad order, I don't really want to waste my Conad polish because I will be taking this right off. Ah, oh, didn't go right there. So we'll try that again. Let's see how that works. And if this doesn't work, I might have to switch over to my white because it could be the surface of this polish that maybe that's why it wouldn't stamp. Well, it took that time. But I have noticed that some of my polishes, um, whether they be metallic or metallic-like looking, they won't take a stamp. But that wasn't bad. And again, that was Queen 55. And the next one that we're going to do over this nail right here, I'm going to try the Queen 63. And I'm not really going for any particular area. I'm just going to see what all I pick up here. And this polish that I'm using, I haven't used in a while, which is why I'm shaking it up, is my Violet Pearl. This was one of the very first colors that I ordered when I ordered my Conad, and that was a few years back. And it's still good, it seems. I haven't had to order it anymore. Now that is the purple. And I like that look a lot. There is someone I just started following on YouTube. And I can't say the name correctly, but it's something P and Countress or Counter. I'll have to look it up. But she used a pink and a white in this color, and that is where I got that idea from. Okay. And I like this, but I need a little bit more length. And I stamped this area over here. So the next one that a lot of people like, and I probably should have picked my thumb for this, or maybe I still can, is this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shade right here, and this is my Vivid Pink. I'm going to see how much of the face I can fit on my thumb. This was one of the plates that they showed when they were showing these. So we're going to see. Okay, not bad. Hopefully you can see that. I hold it, but it's upside down. Try to hold my hand so you can see it. So if I had just a little bit more length there, I could get the hair. But I like that. So not bad. I was so excited about getting these. I wanted to order them when they first came out, but as you would know, I couldn't. I had to wait until payday because I had just been in the stores and I had just ordered a bunch of stuff. And as a matter of fact, I had also just ordered the Winstonia second generation and I was kind of mad at myself because I was like, I could have waited and ordered those later. But I'm glad I got all of them because I did want all of them. I just would have gotten those first had I known. So one of the things I've started doing is keeping room on my charge card and then whatever I order, just pay that off. That way I can get whatever comes out no matter what. Okay, that's the circles. Now the next one that I want to try, I think, will be probably one of the flowers. 
Okay, this is the Queen 64, and we're going to try, I guess, this area over here. I've only got this nail right here. So that's the area that we're going to try. And for that, I'm going to be using my pastel blue. And as a lot of you have probably heard me say, one of my favorite combinations um, when I first started nail stamping was my pastel blue, my white, and fairy dust over any black polish. I just love it. And I do have the sky blue, but I like this pastel blue better. And it was that look I did with the flowers in my earlier videos and that one, it was just an explanation. But I love to lay down white and blue over black and put fairy dust on top. So that's this hand right here. And we're going to move on to the next hand. And I want to try, and I think I'm going to try it with my pastel black, this plate right here. This is one of the two plates with writing, and this is Queen 50. And I think since I've only got this finger here, I'm going to try one of these areas with the smaller writing. And I'm sorry about the glare there. But I'm going to use my black frost. Let's see what we get here. And so far, I can say I've not had any trouble so far. Let's see what happens now that I've said that. Okay. And that right there. Now let's see here, we've got this plate right here, and I'm going to use the smaller end of my stamper. Since whatever I pick up is going to have to go along, I'm going to try it on this red. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to try this Conad white. Because I haven't stamped with that other white, and I don't want it to do what this other one just did over the blue. So, And it's one now. I'm going to stamp whatever I get there. Not bad. I guess, let's see, I'll keep that out. Yeah, because we have two more nails. And we're going to try this play. And I'm sorry if I didn't say this one was Queen 51. And this one is Queen 59. We're going to try this, I guess, maybe on this one right here. This one is that um, sea foam one. Till the tide turns.